Hi friends, it's Steffi and welcome to another video on my channel. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Steffi Blue Bear. So I'm finally doing a June favorites video, but I'm also going to combine it with my July favorites video because I didn't really have a lot of things new that I kind of use in July, so I'm going to combine the two just so I have more items to show you guys. So let's get started. So the first thing on my list is this nail polish color. It is by the brand Savina, and the color is um, mauve. It's a really nice pinky mauve color, and I have it on my nails right now, even though it's kind of like coming off. I really do like this nail polish color, and I will probably be using it a lot more often because of how pretty like the color is. And I never really, I don't really have a color like this in my collection, so when I saw it. I had to buy it and also it was like three dollars and like 99 cents so it was like a pretty cheap nail polish the next thing is this uh, cuticle oil by the brand blossom I've showed this brand before where they have like their perfume oils and their uh, lip glosses well they have also cuticle oil and they also have flowers inside of the bottle which I think is really cute it smells really good and I've been putting them on my cuticles a lot lately and my cuticles have been looking better than usual but I still gotta do some work on that, but I really like that. It looks really cute, um, and I like that. Another thing that I've been using in the month of June and sort of in the month of July is the Blue Moon Palette. Um, I love this palette so much. I did a review on it, and it's like one of my favorite palettes ever. I use um, this palette to do my birthday makeup because since my favorite color is blue I thought it would have been appropriate to put blue eyeshadow on and I've been using it a lot lately this month it's just like and in the month of June too like it's one of my favorite palettes ever another thing that I've been using in the month of June is this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion now I know that this is old and it came out like a few years ago but I recently bought this I do have a primer potion but it's like kind of like a shimmery primer potion it's like kind of like in a gold or a gold packaging and it doesn't have like a wand it's like a squirt out one uh, but this one is the original one and it's the one where like it had like a little wand in it and it's really cute and I like the packaging and it works really well like when I use this my actual looks more brighter now I didn't use it today because I was look going for more of a like a natural look but I've been using this a lot in the month of June and I did use it in one of my uh, cosplay music cosplay makeup tutorials and it works really good so I like that another thing I've been using a lot I actually got this back in May I think April or May but I've been using it a lot lately in the month of June and July because I don't really want to bring my charger with me to work and like have because I've been I've forgotten my phone at work a few times because I had it charging on the wall and I don't want to forget my phone ever so I've been using this portable battery that is in the shape of a crystal and I really liked it because one, it's in the shape of a crystal. As you guys know, I love crystals and everything which and it comes with like a short cord. But it works really well. Um, so I usually start charging my phone after lunch. So then like by the time I leave, it's 100%. Um, so I've been using this and taking this to work with me all the time. And also I've been taking it with me like out when I go to places. Um, so I have that. Another thing that I've been using in the month of June is this shell brush is this is how the like shell looks like and then it's like a brush on this side um i've been using it a lot since i got it because the bristles are really like they're really soft and they're not that rough and i lose i don't know why i haven't gone to the doctors in a while i can't go to the doctors but i don't know i've been using, losing a lot of hair lately um and yeah so brushing my hair with like a brush that has uh, like very soft bristles kind of helps to prevent me from losing hair um, so I've been using it a lot on my real hair this is just a wig but I've been using it a lot on my real hair and it's been preventing me from losing uh, hair that I would lose if I use like another like regular brush so I really enjoy this um, I usually obviously start from the bottom because since my hair is always too poofy and wild and tangled all the time I have to like you know start from the bottom to get it untangled so it takes a time it takes a lot of time or takes some time to like brush my hair with this brush but it's a really good brush i got this for three dollars at rally row so if you want to get this go to rally rose it's really cute another thing that i've been using in the month of june is this 
uh, Bath and Body Works Cucumber Melon Fragrance Mist. As you can see, it's like halfway gone. I bought it in June. Um, oh, it smells so good. Um, I went out with some of my friends and we went to Bath and Body Works and I bought, and they had, they were having their sale, so I got this for like three dollars. And I'm disappointed that they don't have it anymore because I went like recently and they don't have it anymore, but this scent is really really good like they, they used to have like a, a cucumber scent before but this smells slightly different than the old one like it smells like the other one would just smell straight up like cucumber but this one it smells like cucumber but it also has like a tiny hint of melon which makes it smell a lot more sweeter and i really like this it's a really nice smell to wear in summer it's like a fresh smell I like wearing this right out of the shower because it makes you smell nice and fresh and clean. So I really like this scent. And I really wish they have it as like a permanent line. The last two things that I've been using a lot in the month of June is this Lime Crime Velveteen Lipstick in the color L. Paired with the Lime Crime Velveteen Lip Liner in the color Angel. This came in a set and I did a review on this before. But like a lot of the makeup looks I've been doing in June I've been topping it with a nude lipstick and it looks really good and this is the new lipstick that I've been using for those looks so I am really uh, like I use this in my um, in my pride makeup tutorial and I also didn't in, I used it in my blue moon makeup tutorial um, so I really like this color a lot so I'm definitely gonna get the full size once I'm done with this Okay, so now we're gonna do the month of July favorites. I don't really have a lot of items for the month of July, which is why I decided to uh, combine these. But I have been using these items a lot in the month of July. So the first thing is I've been using this Hello um, toothpaste. I have two different ones. So I have this one, which is Fluoride Free Whitening Toothpaste Activated Charcoal. And it has uh, coconut oil with fresh mint. And I've been using this. I have like... Um, one of my cousins gave this to me as like a sample and I've been using this a lot and I also have I have two of this size and I really like it so if they have a full size I'd probably buy it and then I've been also using this one which the same cousin gave this to me and it's the Hello Natural Friendly Sensitive Relief Flora Toothpaste which I do have sensitive teeth and I've been using this more often like I've been alternating because I know that some I heard some people say that if you use charcoal on your teeth it kind of like um Basically, you shouldn't be using charcoal toothpaste that often on your teeth, which I don't know if that's true, but I've been alternating between this one and this one. Um, but I do like this one. I like this one a lot more because of flavor, because this one, it does kind of taste kind of grainy and weird. But I've been liking this one a lot. So uh, again, if there's a full-size version, I'll be using this one. Um, it doesn't leave like a very super fresh taste in your mouth, like Crest or Colgate or whatever, but it does leave like a nice not too of an intense like taste in your mouth and I really like this toothpaste so I've been using that a lot another thing that I've been using in the month of July is um, a palette that actually came out last year I'm not sure what month it was but it came out last year um, and it is the Too Faced Life of Festival palette and I bought it um, at my store because they had it on discount. Like, I think this was originally like $42. And I got it for like $19, $19 because it was on discount. And look how pretty it is. It's All the colors are really nice. Um, it's mostly kind of like a shimmery palette. But I really love it a lot. I actually have it on my eyes right now. Um, really nice. And I just love the packaging, like it's rainbow and a unicorn, which I know a lot of people are like sick of unicorn stuff, but you know what? Your girl's still on that hype. So it's beautiful packaging on the back and on the front as well, or on the back and then on the front. And then the mirror is like a cute cloud. And then um, like the colors are just absolutely beautiful. Like look at how that looks. Like I really like this color a lot. Um, I haven't used this color, but it looks really pretty, and um, the highlighter is really nice. So if you are uh, looking for um, like this palette cheap, go to Nordstrom Rack because um, they have this for like nineteen dollars. So it's super cheaper than it was last year, and I like this palette a lot. I know I'm late to the game, and it, it smells kind of good. Like. Um, 
to me it smells sort of like sweet tarts um, it doesn't smell that strong as the peach palette I don't have the peach palettes but I did smell them but I do really love this palette a lot and I'll be using it more often this summer because um, it has like a lot of summery spring colors so another thing that I recently got um, in the month of July is this perfume. It actually came as a set. It came with like a um, small perfume spray that you could put in your purse and it also came with a lotion. It is the Capri Vince Camuto perfume and it looks really cute. Um, I got it because it smelled really good. Not only did it smell really good, um, it smells like not a floral smell, uh, sort of, well, sort of like a floral smell. But it's like a very light scent, so, um, you know, it won't fade, but it also won't be too strong when you get a headache. But also the packaging is really cute. It's blue, as you guys know, blue is my favorite color. And like, I really like the handle to it, and it has like this cute crest, and I just really like this perfume, and it smells really good. And I got it on discount for $9, so really nice. Another thing that I've been using in the month of July is I've been using this Too Faced. Too Faced Radiant um, Concealer. Uh, and I got it because one, the packaging was really cute and it had like the logo like right here. I'm not sure which way you turn it. Yeah, like this. But like I've been wanting to try out different concealers just to see which ones I like. Um, I do like this one. I also am wearing it right now. I don't know if you could tell. It smells really good too. Um, it smells slightly sweet, which is okay. Um, one thing about this concealer, though, is that it is a little bit liquidy. Like, it's more liquidy than the concealers that I've used before. Like, I have been using the uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and that one's more kind of like pasty-ish, but this is kind of like real liquidy. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like kind of liquidy for me. I don't know if like that makes sense but um and I don't even know if you could tell but it's like really liquidy but it's still pretty good um I've been using this a lot in the month of July and the last thing that I've been using in the month of July is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Sp Setting Spray I again am late to the game all of the setting sprays I've been using are like uh, drugstore ones like I've mostly been using Wet n Wild setting sprays and I used that. I did use that one Urban Decay setting spray, but like it wasn't really doing it that much for me. Um, but I tried this out, and it actually worked real good. Like this is one of the setting sprays that I could use, and to actually wear glasses with, and it won't like come. My make my foundation won't come off that well. So, um, it just smells like setting spray. Um, and it works really good. Now this is like I don't know if this is the full size, but I bought it at Nordstrom Rack again. Um, it's a good size. And I really, really do like this setting spray. It works really, really, really good. So I recommend that setting spray. If you're looking for a setting spray that will keep your makeup on your face and not like smudge on anything else. So I like that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this monthly favorites video. I probably might combine August and September into one video as well, um, but we'll see. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, have you been using or heard of any of the products that I've been using it for the past two months, please let me know. I would really like to read the comments. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye.